This is a preview of a new trigger sequencer from Delptronics that debuted at NAMM 2013. It's a very compact 8 HP wide. There are 8 trigger outputs, and each pattern consists of 8 steps per output. Also has 8 pattern memories, which we'll look at later. The revolutionary thing about this sequencer is that all the functions are controlled with just two knobs. Through our pattern analysis research, we realized that there are fewer unique patterns than you might think. Most patterns are just shifted versions of other patterns. For instance, this pattern of one beat, one rest, one beat doesn't change when you shift it. It just starts at a different point. So every possible pattern can be selected with the shift knob and the complexity knob. As I turn the complexity knob, the pattern gets more complex. The more I turn it up, the more steps are added until we go to all steps on. The output is selected by pressing on the two knobs, which moves the indicator up and down. I've got the sequencer connected to the Delptronics LDB1E analog drum module. Three of the trigger outputs are connected to the bass, snare, and hi-hat. Let's add some snare drum to our pattern. Let me turn down the volume on that snare. I'll dial in some complexity to give us a couple of beats. Now, listen as I turn the shift knob, and that beat really changes when we shift the snare position around. some hi-hats. And switch back to the snare and press the mode button. That puts us in a more traditional step, step sequencer mode where I can turn specific steps on and off. You get a blinking cursor that is moved with this knob. Pressing the knob toggles the step on or off. And I can always switch back to the algorithmic mode and change the shift to complexity. Those are the two edit modes. There's a third mode wherein I can play any of the eight stored patterns. So I can select a pattern and then change which pattern is playing by turning the shift knob. There's a blinking cursor in this mode as well, and when I select a pattern and click the knob, it's added to a pattern chain. The two selected patterns play one after another repeatedly. I can even select the same pattern more than once. So now it plays pattern one twice, then pattern two, and then repeats. You can have up to 100 patterns in a chain, and it remembers the chain even with the power off. Of course, the 8 patterns themselves are also remembered without power. Let's patch one of the outputs into the clock input on a sequencer. We'll select that output and edit the pattern modular, so the outputs can trigger anything from sequencers, envelopes. You can even use one of the outputs as an input into another of these trigger sequencers for seriously complex rhythms. It's coming soon from Delptronics. Watch our website and Facebook page for updates. Thanks.